Telephone wires ain't nothing out of the ordinary. Even in the most rural of places, sure as there's a road to be running, you'll find a wire or two going right along with it. But if you ever see a grackle on a wire, well, that's a bad omen. Dick Thetford was no stranger to grackles, having lived here his whole life, and was more than aware of the superstition surrounding the birds, though in his experience they were usually an indication of nasty weather in the forecast. A bad omen to be sure, but not one so calamitous in nature that their appearance gave him any particular pause. This day, however, as Dick exited the market basket, he didn't hear the usual shrieking calls for which the birds are known. Instead, what he heard was a cacophony of raspy voices whispering his name, growing ever louder. A particularly long-tailed grackle up on a wire said ominously, Dick Thetford is dead. Unbelieving and unnerved, Dick marched over to the payphone in front of the store and dialed his wife, seeking some confirmation of the strange occurrence. However, as he held the phone receiver out to the horde of birds, there was not any decipherable language to be heard. His wife told him to stop drinking and hurry home. Dejected at the implication, Dick hung up the phone and eyeballed the grackles once more. As he stepped off the curb to return to his truck, the sound of squealing brakes filled the air. Dick turned just in time to see an old beat-up van rushing towards him, with its wheels locked, attempting to arrest its forward momentum in vain. The van dragged Dick under its front tire for a few hundred feet, leaving a red stain across the asphalt of the parking lot until it came to a complete stop. Dick Thetford was dead.